This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. I need to warn you, the video you are about to watch has been rated IC60 plus for interactive content in excess of 60 minutes. If you are not emotionally prepared for all the high hellos that are about to come and a full hour, a full hour of distractions, Weight Watchers or WW ideas and friendly content, hit stop now. I repeat, this is your only warning. Do not proceed further if you are not ready. But if you're like me and you like to make new friends on your weight loss journey, this is the video for you. We will be saying hi, hello, as this was filmed live. And if you ever get a chance to join us on Sunday nights, it's just over on the Facebook page, If You Have an Egg, A Weight Watcher's Journey, although I guess now we need to change it to a WW journey. Um, but we would love to see you live over there so that we can say hi and hello. And if you're new, please do give us a shout out. Let us know that you're new and where you're from so that we can all greet you. Also pay attention, um, running across the bottom right now, right now is some important information that you need for how to join us in other um, social media areas, how to get this free, how to watch this on demand, and how to make sure that you are always notified when we have a new chat come up. And more importantly, read, 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 read across the bottom. Right now, our affiliate links, which include discounts, are scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Check those out. We get some great deals for the Egg Lady and for the Egglets. I hope you enjoy the at least 60 minutes of free weight loss journey content and that you will subscribe so that you can always be notified when we're coming up and that you can you will share with another um, weight loss journey buddy, a WW member um, who needs some help and so we can help each other along this journey. So thanks again and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know, please comment below. Hope to see you Sunday. Hello and happy Sunday. So yeah, it's Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com and welcome to Weight Watchers Wellness Workshop number 96. Uh, let's see, what's the name of this one? Sleep Well. I should know what that is because I have something important to talk about um, on the sleeping part, but yeah. Hey, hello and welcome. And it is Sunday, November the 4th. And if you're watching this, watching this with us live, um, we're live, yeah. And if you're not, if you're watching this later on demand on YouTube or on Facebook, and on YouTube, it's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg, or you can watch it on the blog, hello Carol, um, on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. Um, yeah, so if you're watching it later on demand, and if you don't wanna watch all the high hellos that are getting ready to happen, then you can skip to about seven or eight, seven or eight minutes. There's a little scroll if you're watching it on YouTube or if you're watching this on Facebook later on demand. Hello, Christy, my Christy. Um, and yeah, and you can scroll over to seven or eight minutes and skip all of this if you want to. Otherwise, if you want me to say hi, hello, say, say hey, and I'll say hey back. Hello, Claudie, hello, Nancy, and hey, Sylvia from Canada. And April says, good evening. Oh, I know, April made the Hasselback um, potatoes this week and she's down 30 pounds. Yeah, so she had an awesome week. And hello, Rosie, hello, Lisa, and hello, Melissa. So yeah, we're gonna say hi, hello to everyone here real quick. Hello, Popsicle. And hey, Darlene's been gone for a couple of weeks, but she is back. Hello, Palma. Yeah, Palma is, um, Palma, I don't feel like, I feel like, is this the, your first time or are you back after a little while? Hello, Inez. Hello, Orlando Debbie. And hey, Karen. So who, hey, Barbara. Um, yeah, Barbara from the Crossroads. And hello, Sandra from Dingman's Ferry. And I swear, Sandra, if you ever don't say Dingman's Ferry, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm so, I, I love saying it. And hey, Daryl, and hey, Bonnie. I know it feels so weird because it's like nine o'clock technically, but it's not really. Hey, Carla, hey, Janet, and hey, Mary from Canada. So I'm shocked that John didn't shout from the bedroom. No, it's eight o'clock because once the time changes or if you go into a different time zone, he immediately assumes that time. Hey, Sherry, yeah, and aloha, Kathy. Yeah, hey, Joyce. So who's in a state, hello Sylvia, so if you're in the United States, hello Ozma, then who, well, and I guess other places do it too, but who, ooh, hold on, Debbie did the 5K and the 10K wine and dine races this weekend, yeah, awesome, so she's relaxing, oh, and it's Palma's second time, okay, awesome, yeah, and hey Lacey, yeah, Lacey's down 40.8 pounds, awesome, 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 hello Darlene, hello Mariah, oh, and Logan, Hello, Logan, too, and hello, Renee, and hello, Christy, and hey, Carol, good to see you. So who is in an area where the time changed, where you just gained an hour? Hello, Jackie, and hello, Kim. So who's in an, who is in an area? Me. 
I am. Yeah, oh, Irma just ate and felt, feels like a pig. Oh, Irma. Yeah, ha ha. So who's in an area? Hello, Kathy, another Kathy. And hello, Betty, who's in an area? Yeah, thumbs ups or give me a hello, hey, hello. Hello, Rebecca, Um, in an area where the time just changed. Oh, and thank you, Barbara. I'll tell you why in a second. And hello, Kathy, another Kathy, but spelled differently. Um, Yeah, me too. So if you are not in an area where the time just changed, um, for those of us who were, and it was so funny because this morning on the news, they said that all 50 states except for two, or let's see, all they said all 50 states except for one and then like an area somewhere else. I don't know, whatever, Rosie, but we thought, or hello, Rosie, but we thought, um, we were like, hey, that's so weird. That is so weird. Why did they say all 50 states and then eliminate one and a half or one in an area or something? Anyway, that's not all, that's not all 50. But anyway, so yeah, me too. So, um, it's funny that we should talk about sleep. Hello, Naomi from Central Texas. Um, it's so weird that we should talk about sleep. Um, and hey, Darlene, from this week, because last week, you know, or this week's topic was about sleeping. So, um, so anywho, yeah, so y'all keep telling me, hey, hello, and I'll keep saying, hey, back. Um, ooh, and Melissa's husband has joined Weight Watchers. Awesome, or WW, sorry. So great, they are on the same page now. And hey, Sherry, and hey, Kathy from South Carolina. Yeah. Hello, Lynn. Um, so, let's see, Hawaii, oh, Ines says, Hawaii and Arizona don't change. So, I think that's what, the, I think that's what they were saying. Hello, Tahira. So, anyway, it was just funny because on our news, hello, Mary, they were saying all 50 states except for two. Yeah, so then that's not all 50 states. That's 48 of the 50 states. But, anywho, so, um, I'm gonna keep saying, hey, hello. We do have two recipes to talk about tonight. Hello, Michelle. And I know a couple of you all are gonna kill me or, so like who is getting ready for the mutiny? Hello, Marlene, who, is, who else is getting ready for the mutiny if I don't post some of these recipes? So yeah, does anybody wanna guess how many recipes I am behind? Yeah, I don't even know how many it is. I don't want y'all to count, so don't anybody count. But um, when Rhonda says parts of Indiana don't, Change. That's weird. Yeah. Hey, Margaret from Somerset, Kentucky. Yep. And hello, Kathy. Ba bam. Yeah. Kathy. Kathy knows me and my ba bam. I've got some ba bam for tonight. Um, Christy, are you saying there's 57 <laughs> recipes that I'm behind? I don't think it's 57, but I think it's like 30. I think it's probably like 30. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so we do have two more tonight. But hey, and hey, Susie, one of them is already on the blog. Hello, Donna. So one of you, one of them, y'all can't complain about. Anyway, I am just a teeny tiny bit behind, um, but y'all know, I know Lynn, a bunch, yeah, but y'all know how distracted I get, and thank you, Debbie. Debbie says, we still love you, Kelly, yeah, thank you. So, um, yeah, I'm behind a bunch. So, um, we'll try to get caught up. Hello, um, Allison. So, I do have two more for tonight, and one of them is Ba bam um, Oh, and Jackie's starting day one tomorrow. Yeah, Jackie, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And she made the taco soup and the breakfast bubble ups to start with. So where did you, what recipe for the bubble ups? Was that from um, Drizzle Me Skinny or was it from somebody else? And hello, Valerie. And hello, Loretta. Okay, so I'm going to say a few more hellos and then um, and then we got to get cracking. We got to get talking because I actually have a whole lot to talk about on the sleep part of it tonight. And hello, Myra. Um, and we do have two recipes. So I am going to, um, oh, and Kathy says, love your hair tonight. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Let's, let's see two things before I get distracted. First one is Kathy's talking about my hair and Melissa asked if Casey's Mac got finished. So I just want to say you all need to thank, 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 um, Winstar Karen and hello, Samantha. Y'all need to thank Winstar Karen. Um, those of you who know, well, like, Christy, my Christy should know who Winstar Karen is, but it's Karen um, from our group, and she showed up at our office on Saturday. Hey, Taters, showed up at our office at the Granite Shop on Saturday and gave Casey a new charger, gave her a charger, like, for free, for free. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, Karen. Um, you are awesome and amazing. So, Casey is back up and running again. Um, she did her obligatory, you know, thank yous and hugs and, you know, and things, and then she ran back to her office to get it plugged up so that she could get it, you know, completely, you know, completely charged. So, everybody, please take a moment to thank Karen for bringing Casey a charger. We were, like, so, you know, super, super excited. Never thought that we would, you know, find one that fast. I knew somebody, I felt like if Casey had a working computer and a dead charger um, for a Mac that somebody out there had the opposite problem, had a working charger 
and a dead Mac and that we just needed to pair, you know, pair those two up. Never thought that it would happen that fast, A, and B, that it would be somebody who's fairly local. So, yeah, and she drove from Maryville to Knoxville, which most of y'all don't know what that means. But anyway, she drove a little bit to bring it to us. So, thank you. Thank you, Karen. Okay, the two recipes, I'm gonna let you sneak because we're gonna do our meeting first like we have been, and then we'll spend the last 30 minutes, which you know we'll go after it past nine, just because it's me. Um, but, oh, and the hair, sorry. So somebody had, or a couple of people had commented on my hair. So thank you. This is called Didn't Walk Today because the other Karen, so my accountability Karen, which is a completely different Karen, um, her soon to be daughter-in-law had a bridal shower today. So Karen threw her um, a lovely, lovely bridal shower. So not only did we eat yummy, yummy, decadent, not low point foods, um, then we didn't walk. So, yeah, so this is a product, this is my, this was my shower outfit, this was the, the outfit that I wore to the shower, but anyway, so I have somehow managed to keep it on all day, and I don't think I have any food on it. So, yeah, good job to me. But the two things that we're going to be making tonight after we have our meeting, so if you want to see the food, you have to stick around for after the meeting. Sorry, you just have to. So, the first one is, and they're teeny tiny, they're teeny tiny because of the kind of tomatoes that I use. These are um, end of season tomatoes, and you'll have to stick around to see how to make those, and we are gonna make them while we're chatting, and we're actually doing pretty good, like it's only 10 after. And then this, we had at the shower today, and we had it at the bridal shower today, and um, in the house that they had the bridal shower, it was so cool, it was so cool. We got to see a, a secret, um, a secret door. Oh, and Jackie's daughter is getting married next Sunday. Yay, congratulations. Um, but they had a, we got to see a secret door that actually had a trap door in it. Um, it was an awesome, awesome house. Yeah, it's not just bacon, Christy. It's not just bacon, my Christy. So yeah, we'll talk about that. We will talk about that when it's time. Okay, so who had an awesome week? So let's see. Oh yeah, and Bonnie's right. When you're having all the decadent food, you want it to land in your mouth. So yeah, so that's, I guess that's why I was able to keep my clothes so clean. But anyway, so who had an awesome week? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and who remembers what we talked about last week? Anybody? Anybody remember what we talked about last week? Who was here last week? Well, first of all, who went to a meeting last week? Or, I'm sorry, excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Who went to a workshop last week? So let's see some thumbs ups. If you wouldn't look, it looks like a lot of y'all had a good week. Great. So let's see some thumbs up. Um, that you're, yeah, and Sylvia says, it has to be good. There's bacon. Yeah, it was so good. It was so good. So yeah, let's see some thumbs ups. Some thumbs ups if you went to a physical um, workshop last week and sat your bottom in a little chair. Let's see a thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And Jackie's lost 18 pounds and she's below her goal for the wedding. Yay. Yeah. And then... Yep, and Inez is right, and Asma is correct, yeah. And then let's see some hearts if you were with, if you were here with us last week or if, um, or if you did both. So if you went to a physical workshop only, it's a thumbs up. And I know all you YouTube people, you can't see the thumbs ups and the hearts, but there's a ton of hearts, a ton of hearts. So that means that there are a ton, 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 like, oh, there's all kinds of hearts coming up. So there are a ton, the hearts, yeah, those are good. And if you're watching this later on YouTube or if you're watching it on the blog on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, please be sure and comment and let me know how you did because um, I still see those too and hardly anybody ever comments on the blog. Hardly anybody. I get most of the comments here on Facebook, some on Instagram, some on um, YouTube, a few on YouTube, but nobody ever, nobody ever comments um, on the blog. But anyway, so if you went to both, we'll see some hearts. Yeah. So awesome. Here are your Bravo stickers. Yeah, because y'all know I still give out Bravo stickers. My workshops didn't stop doing it. So yeah. So bravo to everyone. Bravo to everyone who attended a physical workshop or with us here or both. If you did both, here's an extra one. Here's an extra Bravo sticker for you. Um, yeah, so our topic last week was called Love Your Weekends. And this was your weekly. And yes, I know it's backwards. And thank you, Christy, for putting up the website. Man, Sandy's lost a total of 50 pounds. Awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, it was about loving your weekend. So, um, who did something that uh, made them love their weekend? What I wanted you to do was to go out to eat somewhere, um, but I wanted you to do the three. I wanted you to do a pick three. 
So your homework for last week was to do a pick three and either you were gonna pick three places to eat or you were gonna let um, whoever whoever else pick three places and you were going to, um, oh yay, and Jackie says she likes this, yay. Um, either, you were gonna, either you were gonna pick three places and let the people that you were with, whoever that is, spouse, significant other, kids, grandparents, work comrades, whatever, you know, um, that you were going to, um, you were gonna pick three places and let them pick from that, or they were gonna pick three places and then you were gonna pick from that. So hopefully, hopefully, you got to do the the, the pick threeing, the three picking, so that you could go ahead and plan it. So your homework for last week was to was to do that and then go ahead and pre-track. So how many people, again, how many people, give me some thumbs ups. Hey, Tig. So give me some thumbs ups if you did your homework last week. So if you did a pick three, um, and some of y'all tag me. Some of y'all tag me um, in your hey Anita. So some of some of y'all tag me. Um, and Anita, you know you're not late because you know I've just been saying hi, 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 hi. Yeah. And hey Patricia, um, you know that's all I've been doing for the last ten minutes. So you really didn't miss anything other than the hey hellos. Um, but so yep, okay. A lot of y'all, okay. A lot of you all are doing thumbs ups and waving at me. Yeah. So that's really good that you did your homework. Some of you all tagged me. So if you want to tag me in your homework, hello Marlene. If you want to tag me in your homework, um, oh wait, here's here's an example. Lynn did and her friends, her two friends, and they she did and they picked IHOP. Okay. So Lynn, we need to know what did you get at IHOP? What did you get? Oh, and April's wearing clothes that used to be too small. Ooh, awesome. Yeah, Sylvia went to an art show and two craft shows. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, so Lynn, we need to know exactly what you picked and did you track it, did you pre-track it? So, um, oh, and Michelle picked Subway, Texas Roadhouse, and te or Texas Roadhouse because she wanted a gift card or McDonald's um, and she picked Subway, yay! So what did you get? You need to tell us all what you got. You know, I won't be able to read all of them, but you need to tell us what you got and don't forget, if you comment on YouTube or on the blog on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, those are not live, so I have time to go, I have time to actually look at those, read them, and respond. Um, ooh, and Carol didn't ha get didn't go to a restaurant, but she did plan and track her at-work Halloween potluck party. Awesome, that's even better, that's even better. But yeah, don't forget to tag me, though, when you do your homework so that I can give you your Bravo stickers, so I can hand out your Bravo stickers, you know, during those. But yeah, so it sounds like quite a few of you did that. Lourdes says they do pizza every Friday and that's what she looks forward to. Yeah, that is awesome. That's perfect. We do we do pizza every Friday night too. Yeah, uh oh, Sylvia had to go to a buffet, but she only had the salad bar part. Okay, great. Did you count it? Did you count it, Sylvia? Did you write it, you know, did you write everything down or did you put it in your phone? And Janet had the holiday bazaar on Saturday and had homemade vegetable soup. That sounds good. That the homemade vegetable soup sounds good anytime. Yeah, Michelle picked a salad. She picked a salad with some turkey on it, the same as she always gets. That's okay. It's not, she thinks she's boring. That is not boring. Um, and she's talking to Jackie. Sorry, I was interrupting their conversation. But um, but yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so that we have time. Hello, Carol. So that we have time to do our two recipes, we're going to go ahead and talk about this week's topic. Oh, good. Sylvia did count it. Here's your extra Bravo sticker, Sylvia. But don't forget to tag me when y'all do your homework. Um, if you're doing your homework um, on Instagram, on Instagram, you can tag me by just, when you type it out, just put at, um, if you have an egg. And, um, oh, and Allison says it wasn't planned, but she ended up at Cracker Barrel for lunch with her two in-laws, and she got the two eggs scrambled. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to go back and read it, because mine just, mine cuts off since, they're, since everybody's talking. But, um, but anyway, um, so, huh, I already got distracted. Yeah, I imagine that. Um, oh, oh, if you're doing your homework and if it's on Instagram, when you post your homework, tag, you know, in your, where you're typing, t type at, the at symbol, which on a computer is shift two. So type the at symbol. If you have an egg, and it will tag me, and I will know so that I can give you your Bravo sticker. And if you're doing it on Facebook, if you're doing it on the Facebook page, which is where we're at right now, then you have to tag at if you have an egg. But if you are in our closed group, and if you would like to be in our closed group, let me know, and we'll send you the link. But you need to, you do have to answer the three questions, so you have to answer the three questions or I cannot let you in. Um, but if you're in our closed group, and you wanna tag me, excuse me, if you wanna tag me for your homework, you need to you need to do at Kelly Green Milligan and it should pop up after the Kelly and then a G. Um, but you have to tag me that way on there because I'm just me on our in our Facebook group. I'm not if you have an egg on our Facebook group. Um, or if you are on Weight Watchers Connect, WW Connect, when you tag me, it's at 
scrap in stamp two. So S C R A P N S T A M P two. Yeah, and thank you, Claudia, for posting the closed group. Remember, everybody, though, you have to answer the three questions. Can't let you in unless you answer the three questions. And I've got it down to a really small number of people again. Um, so yeah, it's that's it's manageable. It is manageable again. And JJ, the closed group is continuous. It's just a closed Facebook group. The reason for the closed Facebook group, and I will, I will explain this really quickly, and then we got to go on. And thank you, Christy, for posting that, the scrap and stamp too. Um, the reason for the closed group is what we're doing right now. This is a public page. And so what we're typing, you know, other people can see. The, the closed group is for us to have similar discussions with each other. You all start conversations. I notice that some of you all have like it'll have your name and then it'll say conversation starter underneath it, which means you all have started so many conversations on your own. Bravo, have started so many conversations in our closed group that you now have a tag in our closed group. And I don't do that, Facebook does that, yeah. So kudos to you, but um, it has your name and then underneath it, it says conversation starter. So, um, so the closed group is just for us to chat with each other and talk about things that you may not want exposed, I don't want to say exposed in the public, but like you might not want your coworker to know unless you invited your coworker to join us. Um, or maybe, you know, you're, and I always say mother-in-law. I don't know whose mother-in-law snoopy snooping around their um, weight loss stuff, but but anyway, you know, just that you wouldn't want to see, you know, wouldn't want other people, you know, maybe not, maybe wouldn't want other people to see. But anyway, it's just, it's a safe place for us. Okay, so let's skip to this week's topic. So this week we talked about sleeping. So this week's topic is sleep well. And it's ironic that that is this week's topic because I have a sleep study tomorrow night. We'll talk about that again in a second. First, I wanna talk about this breakfast that's on here, or it's not a breakfast, this meal that's on here. Um, your weeklies now, in case you hadn't noticed, they are on a thicker cardstock. Um, I'm gonna be punching holes in mine and putting them in a little notebook. Um, they do have, and thank you all for showing me how to decipher this, the you can find the date on here. If, I don't, I swear I don't think this was on here at first. So now it says, um, now it says like printed in the USA, 20181028. So this was 1028. So this one was October the 28th was when this one was printed, or when this this is the week that this one was for. But this, y'all know if you've been around very long, y'all know how much I love grits and how much I love shrimp and grits and had not thought to make them Cajun shrimp and grits. Um yeah, I've never made them that way. So today at Trader Joe's, I got some medium frozen shrimp. I always have instant grits. So guess what I'm gonna try really, really hard to have for breakfast in the morning. Yeah, super pumped about that. But if you did not get your weekly, if you attend a physical workshop and you didn't get your weekly, just ask for a copy of it. Otherwise you can print these um, online from, you know, from your um, Weight Watchers, uh, not from your app. You can pull them up on the app now. And um, the, um, oh, and Sylvia said, there's just printed on the front, fairly big. Hmm. Maybe this week, maybe ours will start this week. But um, so anyway, or you can print these if you are online only, you can print these from online. Um, it should be available on your app. And my husband checked this morning and confirmed for me that this week's topic is already on um, the normal WW um, website. So that's the recipe for this week. I'm gonna be trying it tomorrow, but our topic for this week is sleep well. And again, it's so appropriate that that is the topic this week because um, of my sleep test coming up tomorrow night. But I just wanna read you a couple of things. So this one is Wellness Workshop number 96 and it's entitled Sleep Well. And I wrote for you all Catch 40 Winks, Saw Some Z's. We talk about sleep a lot because we need sleep a lot. Um, if you're not getting at least six hours of sleep a night, you need this chat. So some of you all are going, only six hours a night? Oh my gosh, only six hours? And some of y'all are going, Psh, six hours, that's plenty of time. That's too, you know, that's too much time. Um, I wanna read you all a couple of these. This will be in the transcripts that I'm putting on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. This will be in those transcripts and I've already typed them so it should be up pretty soon except for the recipes. Hmm, yeah, yeah. So I'll have to get on to the recipes. But I wanted to read you all a few of these. This was taken from the um, National Sleep Foundation and um, uh, that can be found. So the full list and some more information can be found at sleepfoundation.org. But that's where I got this from. Now, I'm not going to read you all 25 of them. This is a list of 25 random facts about sleep. 
Um, and I can't reach all, all 25 or we will not do our recipes because it is already, no, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. So, did you know, did you know, man is the only mammal that willingly delays sleep? And I'm laughing my head off, I'm laughing my head off because Alyssa, every single day, so she's at work for two hours on Monday, then all day on Wednesday, and then we usually see her at least one more time, you know, during the week. She is so funny because she is at that age where she is like, I, there's too much to do. There is too much to do. I don't, you know, I don't want to, um, hey, hey, Jean-Anne. Um, I do not. Oh, and Jean-Anne, are you asking if this is a new one? Because it is. Hello. Hi. We're live right now. We're live, Jean-Anne, if you want to say anything. Is there anything you'd like to share with the rest of the class? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, but right now, she's just like, you know, because she's 10 months old now. Oh if you can believe that, but she's just like, what is that? What's that? What's this? What's this? What's this? And she's like, I don't have time to sleep. Stop trying to put me to sleep. But yeah, I thought this was funny though. Man is the only mammal that willingly delays sleep. Willingly delays sleep. That's so, it's so, I never thought about that, but every other mammal just goes to sleep when it's time to go to sleep. We're the only ones, hello Tamara, we're the only ones who, um, you know, who willingly delay that. Um, the higher the altitude, the, the, sorry, the higher the altitude, the greater the sleep disruption. Really? I didn't know that. I had no idea. Hello, Diane. Um, generally, sleep disturbance becomes greater at altitudes of 13,200 feet or more. The disturbance is thought to be caused by diminished, diminished oxygen levels and accompanying changes in respiration. Is that not weird? Is that not so weird? I had, I had no idea. Um, this one... This one I think is very important to us, like I think relates to us a lot. In general, exercising regularly makes it easier to fall asleep and contrib contributes to sounder sleep. However, sorry, there's a little gnat in here for some reason. However, exercising sporadically or right before going to bed will make falling asleep more difficult. So, oh, and Bonnie says, maybe I need to lower my bed. Yeah, because your bed's at 13,200 feet. Um, I am a firm believer in that. So how many of you all, if you exercise at some point during the day, not right before bedtime, but if you exercise at some point during the day, you sleep better. That's me. Yeah, if I exercise that day, I much have much better, much better chance of sleep. Um, they say, uh, let's see, um, caffeine. And y'all knew this one was going to come up. Caffeine has been called the most popular drug in the world. All over the world, people consume caffeine on a daily basis in coffee, tea, cocoa, chocolate, some soft drinks, and some drugs. We're going to talk about that in a second. Um, in general, most healthy ad adults need seven to nine hours of sleep a night. However, some individuals are able to function without sleepiness or drowsiness after as little as six hours. Others can't perform at their peak until they've slept 10 hours. Yeah, 10 hours. Hello, Cyrus. Um... So, yeah, that's so weird. And then a couple of things, a couple more things, and then we're going to switch to what I wanted to talk about or the rest of it. We naturally feel tired at two different times of the day, about 2 a.m. and 2 p.m. If we're asleep at 2 a.m., why are we tired? But anyway, and it said, this, it is this natural dip in alertness that is primarily responsible for the post-lunch dip. Okay, also, sleep is just as important as diet and exercise. Who knew? Did you know that? Did you know that? I mean, you hear people talk about it all the time and you think, oh, shoo, oy vey. I'm not, I just love saying oy vey. Um, who has time? Who has time for sleep? But sleep is just as important as diet and exercise. And remember, these are sleep professionals. They should know. Um, and let's see, there was one more that I wanted to read to you. Um, let's see, where is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, 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 um. <laughs> oh, this one. Listen to me, listen to me, and Susie, I'm right there with you, but listen to me. People who don't get enough sleep are more likely to have bigger appetites due to the fact that their leptin levels, and then it's in parentheses, it says leptin is an appetite regulating hormone fall, promoting appetite increase. So people who don't get enough sleep are more likely to have bigger appetites due to the fact that their leptin levels fall, promoting appetite increase. Who knew? Okay, so that means we need to get some sleep. Okay, couple of things. So this was the perfect week for this topic. It was the perfect, it was the perfect week for this topic. Um, I have a sleep disorder that makes it um, hard for me to stay awake. So this was an especially important and touchy, not gonna lie, kind of a touchy subject, you know, for me. 
Um, I was diagnosed with my sleep disorder 22 years ago and I have been on the same medication for 22 years. But about six months ago, um, there was a new state regulation passed, actually it was passed before that, but they actually started following it about six months ago that requires um, everybody in my situation in Tennessee to either take a new sleep study. Well, first we have to try a new medication, which I did not like, um, and then take a new sleep test. So I have fulfilled my mandatory six months on the medicine, um, but I don't, you know, I, I didn't like it. So um, I, it was making me, you know, I've been jacked up. I mean, I've been all kinds of jacked up this last six months while I've been taking that medication, which is part of the reason why the recipes are not on here because I, I nap during the day. If I sit down for too long, I fall asleep. Um, and if I'm napping during the day, then that means I'm up at all weird, you know, hours of the night. And I noticed like Barbara the other night was like, why are you up? Well, it's because I had napped all afternoon, you know, where I sit down to watch TV and fall asleep. So, um... So anyway, you know, I've been, I mean, I've been all kinds of jacked up, but um, I wander around at night. Um, I'm talking incessantly during the day, trying to stay awake, you know, like during meetings, during, you know, sometimes when it's quiet, um, you know, and sometimes movie, and I want my old medication back. I want it back. But um, tomorrow night, I get to have my new sleep test. So it was so appropriate. It was so appropriate that um, that sleep well was our topic, you know, for this week, is our topic for this week. So, a um, um, couple of things I wanna throw out there. And I don't know what's going on, April, but I hope you feel better, because I, I see several people um, saying they hope you feel better. But so a couple of questions I wanted to throw out there is when you talk about sleep, is quantity or quality better? Which one do you think? Do you think quali quantity or quanti quantity or quality? Which one do you all think is better? And no, sh no taters, I do not have sleep apnea. I'll tell you in a separate conversation. This is not for the public. This is not for the public page to discuss what it is, but um, yes, I is. I think so too. I think both. My answer, my answer is both. I'm a firm believer that most adults can operate, um, operate on and be healthy with seven hours of quality sleep. 10 hours of tossing and turning, in my opinion, and I'm not a sleep professional, but 10 hours of tossing and turning and getting up and laying down and getting up and laying down um, is no better than four hours of absolutely sawing logs. So, you know, people that are sleeping heavy, 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 like babies for four hours, or people that are tossing, tossing and turning for 10, you know, I think that's, you know, that's the same. So, in my opinion, both. Um, the, I hear this all the time. Oh, I sleep fine with the TV, with the TV on, um, or when I fall asleep, um, and thank you, Sandra, for pointing out the time, um, or when I fall asleep reading with the light on. Really? Really? Um, yeah, you might think you are. You might think that you're sleeping fine with the TV on, but your brain still thinks it's supposed to be wakey time, that you're supposed to be wakey, wakey um, time. Um, so it thinks you're just napping, you know, during the day, and that, oh, we should pop up, you know, we should, you know, get up soon. Um, if you need the TV to fall asleep, you know, maybe, um, you know, if you can use the um, timer, like I know John loves to fall asleep to the TV when we're um, out of town. I think it's just because it's a strange, um, you know, strange place and he does travel a lot, um, but he likes to fall asleep with it. Well, I, I, if I'm with him, I always make sure and hit the, um, hit the timer on the remote so that it goes off after about 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour after I know he's going to be good and asleep. Because if not, I'm going to be up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, then, um, who to coffee or not to coffee? That is the question. That's a very important question for me. Um, I can't really talk because my sleep disorder makes me not react to caffeine like other people do. Um, but I wanted to point out to those of you who are using, um, caffeinated beverages to stay awake and, or are using caffeine, um, to not caffeine or just, or getting some caffeine that you don't even know about. Um, so what are some things, let's see, according to the wait, to the weekly, to the WW Weekly, this little thing right here, this little puppy right here, um, it says that we need to cut out our caffeine consumption at least four hours before, um, before bedtime. And um, so what are some things that have caffeine in them that you need to cut out of your diet at least four hours before bedtime? So the first one I wrote down was coffee. Duh, Kelly, of course, coffee. The next one was decaf coffee. And then I wrote, huh, Kelly, what? So decaf coffee. Decaf coffee has between two and 12 milligrams per serving of caffeine. Did you know that? It says decaf, like uncaf, but it's not. It's just less caffeinated. So yeah, surprise, surprise. Coffee or chocolate flavored ice creams and yogurts can contain up to 
45 milligrams of caffeine. What? What? That's crazy. That's craziness. Yeah, that's that's craziness. Um, chocolate pudding. Oopsie. I've been promoting that. I've been promoting chocolate pudding. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. So it contains up to 10 milligrams of caffeine. Um, this one, this one was a shocker. So never thought about it, but it makes sense. Headache and menstrual pain medication. So like Midol, Bear, uh, Bear Migraine, things like that. Um, caffeine can make those work better. I, I can't explain the science behind that, but caffeine can make them work better. S a couple of those, the caffeine portion accounts for up to 40% of the volume, like of the of the, the ingredient makeup list, it can up to, up to 40%. Um, and then, oh my gosh, phones, laptops, and alarm clocks, oh my, oh my. The light from just one of these devices can pr promote wakefulness. Um, but having all three in your bedroom at the same time, it's just, it's a recipe for no sleep or not restful sleep anyway. That is if, if you even fall asleep with all three. So if you have a TV going, your cell phone's plugged up next to your bed, um, and you had been working on your laptop, you're pretty much toast. You are pretty much toast. So um, I've started unplugging my phone, or not plugging my phone up in the bedroom. I've started plugging it up in here in the kitchen. Um, I have one number set to override everything, everything, and that's the that is the phone number for um, that's the phone number for the nursing home that my mother's in. That's the only number that's allowed to ring through. So, sorry, Casey, if you're having an emergency, you're gonna have to go to um, you'll have to text Daddy, or you're gonna have to go to um, Island Home and then call me from there so that it'll ring my phone. Um, and I started um, leaving my Apple Watch in there too because I was getting like Wayfair notifications in the middle of the night, and then I would go, "Oh my gosh, that couch is so cute! I don't need it, but I wonder what that is." I don't need to know that in the middle of the night. So the haptics that are on the watch, even when I have it silenced, the haptics go like it, you know, like attack, not attacks, but you know, it's like poking you like, hello, 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 hello. So I started leaving that in here in the kitchen too. Um, and there's a new feature and it's new to me. I don't know if it's new, new or not, but it's new to me. Um, and it takes out, it admits, um, it, it takes off or takes out the blue light that is emitted from cell phones and from devices because the blue light makes your brain, it's like, hey buddy, hey, 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 it's time to get up, it's time to get up, it's time to get up. So the blue light really messes, it messes with your um, brain. So there are some new apps, you know, that you can do to, to, to omit, not emit, you can omit the blue light from being emitted, yeah. O versus E. Um, so, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? So, I already did a couple of things to help me sleep better. Started plugging my phone up in here in the kitchen. Started leaving my Apple Watch in here in the kitchen. I'm going to get my sleep test done. So, I'm going to get my sleep test done so that I can get that part taken care of so I can be awake during the day so that I can sleep at night. Hello, Roberta. Um, so your homework for this week, your homework for this week is to pick one thing, whether it's blackout shades, um, like our, our fearless leader Gwen has blackout shades in her room and Tamara, yes, it's always on on Sunday. Yes, ma'am. Um, and you can rewatch it later on YouTube. It's just youtube.com, um, search if you have an egg or on Facebook here or in our Facebook group or, um, in on my blog, www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, um, and I'll copy it to there. So yes, ma'am. Um, but anyway, so my our fearless leader Gwen is um, she does blackout shades and it's like, and she even turns her alarm clock away from her so it doesn't face them because even just that little bit of light from her from their alarm clock was putting off too much light. Um, leaving your phone or device in another room, using the sleep function on the TV, um, pick something. So I want you to pick something. Your homework for this week is to pick something to help you sleep better. And then I want you to post your sleep better, your sleep better um, story and tag me. So wherever you, so wherever you post it, if you post it here on Facebook, again, on the page, tag at, if you have an egg, if you post it in our group, tag at Kelly Green Milligan. If you post it on Instagram, tag if, at, if you have an egg or what uh, WW Connect is at Scrap and Stamp 2. Again, don't ask. So that is your homework for this week. Who's willing to try something? So who is willing to, I need three people, three people to say that they're gonna try and do their homework before we can go, before we can switch to this. Yeah, and Debbie has to have hers on um, due to work, but she turns it upside down and there's no other light in the room. So I need three people to say that they're gonna do their homework 
before we can switch this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Lynn's gonna try turning her alarm clock away from her. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, Mary's right. Mary said essential oils. Yes, they do. And hello, Kelly. Mm-hmm. Kathy's gonna try. And I saw somebody else up there a few minutes ago. Yeah, I saw somebody else. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, and Tamara will. Okay, so... Those of you who, and Sue will, great, so awesome, that's more than three of you, and Margaret, awesome, thank you. So, the three of you, or not the three of you, so those of you who just came, and thank you everyone who's going to do their homework. So, to, for everyone who um, just came for the, that just came for the class portion, class is dismissed, and y'all may go on. And for everyone who wanted to stay for the fluff portion, portion, which is what I'm, which was, which is what I call the second half. So we're doing the, and that's awesome. There's so many of you all saying you're going to do your homework. Here's your, I'm going to go ahead and pre give you Bravo stickers. Y'all are awesome. Yeah, pre Bravo stickers. Um, we're going to go ahead and switch to. So all of the rest, people here were here just for the class. You're dismissed. Everybody else who wants to stay for the fluff, let's get going. Because you know me, it is already 8:36 which is technically 9.36 since the time changed last night, but we're gonna do our homework. I'm um, not our homework, we're gonna do the fluff portion. So I have to do this recipe first because this puts so much grease in my air fryer <laughs> that I have to do this one first. So I'm gonna grab the two, I'm gonna grab the two most crucial parts of the ingredients out of the refrigerator and I'll be right back, right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so this first one, this first recipe is already, and Tedder says, love the fluff. Yeah, I love all the fluff. So, good night, Barbara. So, this first one, this is pre, this, this is already on the blog except for the time um, in the air fryer. You can make these in the oven. I'm, we'll be making them tonight in the air fryer, but um, you can make them in the oven. And this is already on the blog. It's on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, and these are called... Um, end of season tomatoes. So my mom, before she was in the, in, went to a nursing home, had a garden, a really nice garden, a pretty big for an almost 80 year old woman garden. And she would get so sad at the end of the season because her little tomatoes would start looking kind of, you know, wah, wah. they were done. And um, there's two. Wait, Michelle said you got enough towels on your stove handle, Kelly. There's two, there's only two towels, two. Anyway, um, so anyway, so she called these her end of season tomatoes. And if you go to www.ifyouhaveanegg.com and search end of season, you'll find these and you'll find the directions for making them um, in the in an oven. Um, and I tell you what, I'm going to take you all with me to do this, but I'm not going to turn you around. You have to stay with me because when I turn you all around, when I do turn you all around, um, first of all, the volume gets really, really bad. Um, and, um, it's, and after, and if I do it like two or three times, then, um, I don't know, it just gets real glitchy with the connection. But, so these are just, you know, some end of season tomatoes and I went ahead and pre-sliced them. I went ahead and pre-sliced them on the blog. Let's see the blue one looked like to the way it's sitting on the white one. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, but so this is the on the blog. This is um, done in the oven. And so we're going to do it in the air fryer. And this is just the Simple Living Products air fryer that I got a couple of weeks ago that I've already used the hound out of. And these are pre-sliced. And I went ahead. It's, they're just tomatoes. And oh, they are Campari tomatoes. So they, if they look small, it's because they are small tomatoes. So they're Campari tom um, tomatoes because I'm not a huge tomato fan. Like I don't like, I know y'all are getting ready to cringe and croak, whatever. And anybody that's from here um, is going to go, what? Because I live near Granger County, which is like home to the tomatoes. But I'm not a big fan of big ones, but I like these little Campari ones. Um, so that's what I've been getting. Um, so they just have a little bit of Trader Joe's olive oil spray on there. And then I personally like Dax Italian Blast seasoning, the best on them. Um, you can use any seasoning, so your whatever your favorite is, but Dax is my favorite. These were already sliced. I went ahead and lightly sprayed them. I'm just gonna dump them in my air fryer basket. And again, you can do these, and I'm gonna arrange them while I'm talking to you. So you can do these um, in your stove. Um, absolutely not a problem. And that was where the original recipe came from was on the stove. So I'm gonna get these going. I'm gonna use one of my seven hand towels 
that's on my, just kidding, it's not, that's on there. I'm gonna put this in the air fryer. And did you see the scoop? I scooped, you don't slam, you scoop. And on the Simple Living, you push this, I'm sorry, then push the temperature, take it down to 350. The time, we're gonna take it down to 10 minutes. And it's not gonna go, whoops, and then you push go. I'm trying to watch you all instead of what I'm doing, so yeah. Okay, so um, no, Debbie wants to know if I drained them. No, I did not because how I would normally do it, I normally would not put them in that Ziploc bag. Normally, um, so see the Ziploc bag has some juice in it. That was just, I only put them, I only pre-sliced them and put them in the Ziploc bag just for the sake of time because like, you know, it's already 8.43. And we're just now getting started on this just like just like normal you know and jackie i try i slice them as thin as i could but you can you can leave them thick like my mom used to leave them what is that about a quarter of an inch thick i guess and this is what they look like finished we will see them finished you know here in just a few minutes um i will say this i'm gonna let them go okay and lynn i do not use parchment paper in the bottom of this new air fryer i do have that's a great question so i do have parchment paper let me grab it for my other air fryer. So the other air fryer that I have, um, I did not season it, didn't know I should season it. And um, so I didn't, but this one, oh, and Samantha says she thinks the camera turning around uh, fine last time, um, it only froze for a second. It's weird though, uh, Samantha, it does, like every time I do that, it does it a lot. Like, so I don't know, I'm just gonna try not to do it unless I have to. And Jackie wants to know if you can put a great tomato in the air fryer hall. Uh, I don't know. I've never tried it. I will say this. I also have little grape tomatoes, and I make this a lot with them. But the little, the little tiny, a little, you know what I mean by a grape tomato? Um, and actually, I have some over here. Just a second. And Lynn, I promise I'm going to come back about the parchment paper. So, like, grape tomato size. Um, I, cut the, I cut those in half. And then I cut those in half and then I spray, this is an egg poacher. So if I'm doing this size in this, I cut this in half and then I spray the egg poacher and I lay it out open and I do it the exact same way, but I put them in here to kind of contain it, you know, a little bit so that there's not like, and I'll only make like three at a time um, when I'm doing that. So just to kind of keep them contained. And then Lynn had asked about the parchment paper. So my old air fryer, I have to use parchment paper in. And this is parchment paper for a, it's for a rice steamer, um, but I got it for the air fryer, but this works really well in the old air fryer. So my new air fryer, because I actually read the directions this time, yeah, instead of just going. So the Simple Living Products air fryer, I do not have to use the parchment paper because I actually seasoned it. I know, I know. If you would just do, you know, it's that do as I say and not as I do, you know, kind of rule. So, um, so I actually followed their directions. Um, and Debbie, so Simple Living does have a YouTube video on it, but guess what? They've asked me to do one too. So when I finish my Simple Living Products YouTube video for how to season your air fryer, all 103 of you all that are on here right now must go to it and like it so that Simple Living Products will continue to give us discounts. So they uh, ex have actually have extended your all's discount, but it's on their website right now instead of being on Amazon. So the parchment paper with the pre-cut holes in it, I got off of Amazon and it's gonna be caught and you just put, um, parchment paper you know or let me think what did I put parchment paper air fryer or something and it's not made for an air fryer but it works in an air fryer okay so while we're waiting on those to cook that was just tomatoes sliced and if I was making them like to eat right then I would not have put them in the ziploc baggie I just lay them on a parchment paper covered cookie sheet um and yeah Debbie you know I will and then I would lightly spray them with olive oil spray um and darlene if you don't season it then the food sticks so it just makes it a little bit harder to clean but i'm telling you i didn't think it was going to be a big deal like i thought yeah whatever you know do i really need to seal it um or season it 
oh my gosh, everything just slides off and it cleans like that. I mean, it just cleans up like that, like nothing sticks to it. But anyway, so I would layer, I would cut my tomatoes kind of thin and I would layer them. No, do not put foil at the bottom. I don't put oil at the bottom of my air fryer. No, no, no. Um, but anyway, then I would lightly spray them with um, some kind of olive oil spray and lightly. Remember, this is, this is not because if you do, you know, if you do that too much, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna count as oil. And then lightly sprinkle it with, um, I use Dax Italian seasoning, um, Italian blast seasoning, and you can get this on DaxSpices.com. Um, unless you live in Alabama, most of us don't have available have it available in our stores, but this is salt free. There is no sodium in this. Um, so those are the, the spices that I prefer. You can use whatever your favorite spice is. Um, and Kathy says, what else do you use it for? What else do I use what for? The seasoning, the parchment paper, the air fryer. Because if you're asking about the air fryer, wah, a whole lot. I use it for everything, everything. And I've never put foil under my basket ever, Jackie. If you season it, you don't need to. You do not need to. Okay, so we are at five minutes. Um, and if you notice the one that I showed you, and Kathy, yes, it is so quiet. We would never have been able to do this with my other one, ever. And Tammy just got her first order of Dax Spices, yeah. And Kathy says the air fryer, yeah. Are you talking about, so you're asking me what I do, else do I do with the air fryer? We have a whole chat for that. So Kathy, if you're new to our group, um, we have a chat for like almost everything and you can find the chats on here, um, on the Facebook page, the, um, the public page. We actually have a pinned post at the top that lists all of our, that lists all of the chats and a little description of them. And there is an air fryer chat. So you can definitely go to that one. While we wait on those to cook though, um, what do you season your air fryer with? Um, so I mean, there's a video. So we're gonna have to keep talking or we're gonna be here till like 9.30, which is actually technically, technically 10.30. Oh my gosh, something I forgot to mention. So we're, while we're waiting on that and before I skip to this one, did y'all know there's only 51 days until Christmas? 51 days until Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I do not know how many days there are until the holiday you celebrate. But for me, I celebrate Christmas. There are 51 days until Christmas. So Halloween was just a couple of days ago. I mean, like what, five days ago or something? John's already binge watching uh, Disney Christmas parades, like uh, golf cart parades and um, just, you know stuff like that. He's already binge watching that. So he's already binge watching the Christmas stuff. So if you celebrate Christmas, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're waiting on that to finish up and I am gonna stop it at two minutes because I wanna show you something else. I'm gonna show you what to finish this off with. Um, this, the next one. This icky looking mess in this baggie is candied bacon. Yeah, it's candied bacon. We had this at the um, bridal shower today. And JJ, we've already watched the Disney special, like, I'm not kidding you, probably five times, yeah. He watched the Disney Halloween decorating special up until November the 1st. And now like Halloween's cut off. He's completely cut off Halloween. It's completely switched to Christmas. But yeah, we've already watched the, the Christmas one. Of course, we watched it all year last year, but we watched it like five times. Like I can tell you, um, I can tell you what, um, what Whoopi's gonna say before she even knows what she's gonna say. I've watched it so many times. And I can do the, wash the window. Let's see, what is it? They say, wash the windows, wash the windows. There's a spot, there's a spot. That's how many times we've watched that. And Lynn, I cut myself off. I cut myself off. So hopefully soon, maybe we can make Casey come over here and get it. Okay, we're down to two minutes on the air fryer. So I am not gonna, well, I can probably take y'all back over here. So, oh, happy birthday to Jackie's daughter. Okay, so I'm gonna take y'all back over here and I'm gonna be, try to be careful. Can you see it? Can y'all see that? Okay, so that's what they look like so far. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Trader Joe's um, shredded light mozzarella and put it on there. I don't always put this on there and my mother does not put cheese on hers cause she's vegan. Well, she doesn't make them anymore, but, but she's vegan. So she doesn't, she doesn't really put cheese or if she did, it would probably, it would have been, um, oh, whatever that brand of cheese is. I can't think, um, Daya, Daya cheese. Cause that was her favorite one. So, Okay, so I'm gonna pop it back in for two minutes. And remember, whoops, 
hold on. See, I just started to say, remember scoop. So scoop, don't shove. And I know y'all couldn't really see that, but that's another thing that I had to learn with simple living products is to scoop. So when you're putting the basket back in, the basket and the holder back in, you scoop it, you scoop and put it, not, not like that, but you scoop and put it in. Don't shove it in. Um, I think I was shoving my, um, my other air fryer because it was getting a little wonky. Like then it got to where it almost had to be shoved because I think I kind of, you know, had altered it a little bit, but anyway. So anyway, we have two minutes left and then I'm gonna show y'all what that looks like. And then lucky for you, it only takes eight to 10 minutes for the candied bacon to cook. So we're not gonna go too far over. But while this is finishing, while the tomatoes are finishing, let me just show you what they look like. Again, so these are the end of season tomatoes. You can make them without the, um, without the air fryer. You can make them in the oven. And that recipe is already on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. So nobody, y'all can't bug me about that one. I'll just have to update it for the air fryer. Then these three um, obviously have the cheese added to them. But you can see the Campari tomatoes just make a nice little, you know, it just makes a nice little tomato and I'll take a bite of one. Mm. So good, so good. Especially with the Dax Italian seasoning on there with the Italian blast, really, really good, really good. Okay, while we're waiting on the one minute, hey Janice, while we're waiting on the one minute we're gonna talk about this candied bacon again. So, this amazing and beautiful bridal shower that we went to today. Um, the, the caterer, her name is Holly, and she's pretty famous here in Knoxville. Um, she provided candied bacon. Well, let's just say, let's put it this way. It's so good, the candied bacon is so delicious. Ooh, we're ready, that a couple of people um, were putting it in um, like plastic wear containers so that they could take it home. Yeah, so they could take it home. And Carol, this is like a heated caprese salad, but it's, um, but now like these are cold now because I've, they've been sitting out here the whole chat. But yeah, super, super yummy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pack these up while we're talking. So let me grab my container. So, while I'm getting these out, oops, I'm gonna go ahead and pack them up, you know, for our lunch, you know, for later in the week and I will take you all back over there with me. So yeah, this would be uh, awesome, you know, um, either a warm caprese or and um, let them cool off and then, and then do that. And where is my, there's my spatula. Okay, so we will just scoop a couple of these out of here. And again, and I know y'all can't see this because I can't turn you upside down, but because I seasoned See how pretty those are? Because I seasoned my Simple Living Products air fryer, these are sliding right out, like no sticking, no mess, no fuss. Here are some that I did not put the mozzarella cheese on. Those are gonna be equally delicious. Um, and I'm assuming, I think if you let them keep going, I know this was on 350 for eight minutes without the cheese and then two and then two more minutes with the cheese. Um, but I think if you let them go longer than that, then um, see how delicious those look? So I think if you let it go longer than that, that it would be more like a, um, more like a dry roasted um, tomato or like a sun-dried tomato is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so the candied bacon. This is, this is six slices of the bacon that I use, okay, and normally I would tell you, if we weren't in a crunch for time, I would tell you, let your air fryer cool off or let your basket cool off, wash it, you know, and then make this, but we don't have that kind of time. So, and see, like, Loretta's already going to bed. So, good night, Loretta. Um, this is six slices of Trader Joe's uncured bacon, and I tell you what, I'm gonna get my hair out of the way, of Trader Joe's uncured bacon, and thank you. Tedros likes my chandelier my chandelier and my brick wall. So remember we live in a loft. So if you could see out the window, um, we have a lovely view of a parking garage, but anyway. Um, so, uh, and I just lost my towels. My towels just fell off. You all jinxed them. You jinxed them by commenting on them. Okay, hold on just a second. I know I'm making y'all stay past nine, but it's worth it. Trust me, the candied, the candied bacon is worth it. So, get that back on there real quick. 
Anyway, so this is six slices of Trader Joe's uncured bacon. And sometimes I use um, Applegate um, Sunday bacon or one from, um, or one from um, Aldi. But that's six slices and I cut them in half. And then I added, and this will all be in the recipe whenever that comes out. And then this has a quarter cup of Carrie's sugar-free syrup in here with them. And it has about a teaspoon, maybe a, like a heavy teaspoon of, um, of, DAC, of the Dax Red Mountain Rub um, seasoning, which is like the bomb on bacon. And then it has a teaspoon of Truvia baking blend. And the reason I use the baking blend is because it's Truvia, but it has real sugar in it. Now, um, I'm just gonna dump this in there. And this you can do ahead of time and put it in the Ziploc bag. You don't have to, you know, like the tomatoes, I said I wouldn't have done that ahead of time. Um, and I am going to just spread these out with my fingers real quick. So, how's everybody doing? Are y'all still hungry? Has anybody besides Loretta gone to bed? Is Loretta our only... Is she our only casualty? Is everybody else still doing okay? Everybody else is still awake? Even though I told y'all to get more sleep, everybody else is still everybody else is still awake. Okay, this is not gonna be very neat. This is not gonna be very neat because I just, you know, used my fingers to do this. So let me kind of pop you up here and show you. So this again is six slices of bacon. Can y'all see it okay? So that is the six slices of bacon cut in half, a quarter cup of Kerry sugar-free um, syrup, a heavy, a heavy teaspoon of the Dax Red Mountain Rub spices, and the Truvia baking blend. And whoops, let's see, here I go. I'm trying to, I'm talking to you all instead of scooping. So scoop. And this time we're gonna push the start button. We're gonna hit the temperature, turn it up to 380. We're, and then we're gonna hit the timer and take it down to eight. We'll start with eight minutes because several of them will be done at the end of the eight minutes. Oh good, some of y'all are still there. So are y'all still awake? Is everybody still awake that's still here? But some of these will be done, some of the bacon will be done at the end of the eight minutes. A couple of the pieces will probably have to be put back in for you know a couple more minutes. But um, so look at this yumminess. <laughs> From the tomatoes so how how yummy is this I mean how how yummy do those look so now I'm kind of regretting that I have um whoop and Sherry's already done her homework her phone and her iPad went to another room awesome and she's headed to bed so people that are getting ready to get off here's the finished product oh my gosh Jackie's been up since 420 oh my goodness yeah, Sylvia's got plenty of time because she's in the central time zone, so it's only eight o'clock now for her. Awesome. So this is what the candied bacon looks like when you get done. Um, it is so sweet, and it's funny because John, I got John to try a piece of it, and he goes, yeah, that's pretty good. And then like after he swallowed it, he said, oh my gosh. He was like, the aftertaste is what makes it taste like candy. So look how crisp this is. And I'll let this sit for a little bit, but look how crisp this is. Um, oh, and Lisa says the longer you cook the tomatoes, the, or the, if you cook the tomatoes longer, they'll caramelize. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Okay. So, the tomatoes are only, the tomato, no, I'm sorry, Shamara's asking how many points. The tomatoes are only points if you add the cheese to them. The bacon, the kind of bacon that I use is one point per slice. And you're not putting enough, um, Oop and Mary's watching the Packers game. Um, so you're not, wait, who are they playing? Wait, Mary, who are the Packers playing? Were they playing um, the Saints? Or if I got the wrong game, because we were watching something right before we started. But anyway, so the candied bacon, it's one point per slice. And yes, it's candied. Carol says, is it bacon? It's candied, candied. Oh, yeah, so sorry, I have to root for, um, no, never mind. Never mind. Wrong team. Wrong team. Yeah. No, the Saints. I had to root for the Saints because of um, Alvin Kamara. But anyway, because he went to UT. But this is so sweet. 
and it's so good. As if we needed another reason to like bacon. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know that I needed, I don't know that I needed another reason to like bacon. But anyway, this is so good. It does taste like candy. Um, the bacon is one point per slice, the kind that I buy. So you have to be careful about that. So check your bacon before you buy it. And then the um, sugar-free Carries, Carries syrup, a quarter of a cup is zero smart points. And the Trivia baking blend, um, the the amount that I'm using is would be one. Um, I'm sorry, it would be yeah, be one point. But I'm spreading it out over six pieces of bacon, so it's not. But anyway, yes, it's very sweet. Um, it's very good. And oh, Chris says, do you think I could use the pre-cooked black labeled bacon? I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, Sylvia, I would love to say the recipe again, but I'm too busy eating this. Okay, I'll set it down. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Anyway, it is six slices. Oh, here, let me grab the let me grab the pack of bacon that I have in the freezer. Oh please, and I'll show you what mine what mine looks like. So when I buy this, when I buy bacon, <laughs> I usually buy two packs at the same time. So this kind, this is the uncured, good night Kathy. This is the Trader Joe's uncured dry rub sliced bacon. And this kind, and then the Appleton Farms at Aldi that looks just like this, almost, almost looks exactly like this. This one's one point per slice. And then, and I do love the math, the Weight Watchers math, the WW math on this particular kind of bacon because one slice is one point, Two slices is still just two points. It doesn't jump to three like some things do. The um, Aldi has the Appleton Farms brand. It's the same, almost the exact same thing. Actually, it's probably the exact same thing. One point per slice. And then um, Applegate at like Kroger, Publix, places like that. They have the uncured Sunday bacon, one point per slice. So you're going to use six slices of bacon, cut them in half, and then it's a quarter of a cup, a quarter of a cup of Carrie's sugar-free. Oh, Mickey's 90th celebration. Okay, Susie says, Mickey's 90th spectacular is on here. Man, man. And no, Jackie, it is not, the bacon is not thick cut. So then it's a quarter of a cup of this. And if you do not have the Dax, and hold on, I'm gonna shake my bacon real quick. I'm gonna shake my bacon. I'm gonna shake it real quick to make sure sometimes you have to flip them over if they're not cooking evenly. I promise I'll bring y'all back over here when this is about done. So just a couple of these needed to be flipped over. So I'm just, you know, flipping them over and kind of shaking it around. And I'm gonna scoop, not shove. And you notice the air fryer went right back to cooking. Um, um, and good night, Kathy. Then the Dax Red Mountain Rub. This is really good on bacon, even if you're not gonna make it into the candied bacon. So if you don't have this yet, I mean, look how much, this is my third bottle of this. Third bottle of this. Look, it's down to panic time. Panic time, because it's already down that to that much on my third, third bottle of it. Um, but then it was a heavy teaspoon of this and then a teaspoon of the um, Trivia Baking Blend. And again, I get the Baking Blend because it actually has, it's a sugar blend. So it's not just Trivia. It is Stevia Sweetener blended with cane sugar. So it also has some cane sugar in it. And the reason I like that, the reason I like the Trivia Baking Blend is when I bake with it, or like in this instance, you know, the bacon that we're making, um, because it does have a little bit of real sugar in it, it kind of, um, you know, does what real sugar does, you know, and kind of caramelizes. So we have two minutes left. What questions did y'all have besides how good is this because I keep eating it? So look at this. It's only gonna be like 10 after. It's so good. I'm telling you, it is so good. This stuff's actually, it's gonna be a problem. I didn't need another reason to like bacon. And it's so funny, you know, I talked about Wayfair earlier. Just got a Wayfair notification. And I'll tell you, Debbie, so Debbie said you could use the Trivia Brown Sugar Blend also. Let me ask if you are having the same, it's not an issue, but the Trivia Brown Sugar, the Trivia Brown Sugar, I like it, but I have to use it, I have to like 
kick it back a notch um, because it's if I put too much on there, it's got kind of a wang to it. Okay, and Sylvia, I'll oh, see. Nancy wants to know how many smart points the baking blend for a half of a teaspoon. It's no, it's no points. Um, and Mary, if you don't have the Dax yet, then just use the Trivia baking blend. I just add that just because I like the way it tastes. But Sylvia, Sylvia, and somebody else asked if it was spicy. Okay, I don't think, I don't think it's spicy. But again, um, like we had jalapenos on our supper tonight because I like spicy, spicy stuff. So I don't know if I'm a good, I don't know if I'm a good judge of spicy or not. Um, but I do not find it spicy. And Naomi wants to know, um, other than an appetizer, how else would you use it? Well, this was at a bridal shower. So it was like as a finger food. Um, and Kim, yes, turkey bacon does great in the air fryer. It does great in the air fryer. Um, we'll probably be having this for um, breakfast. Let's see. Let me think a minute. I said I was going to have the shrimp tomorrow. I might wait and have the shrimp another day because I'm going to be eating these. I'm going to be eating the bacon and the tomatoes, I guess, tomorrow. But um, so for how long? It was 380. It was 380 for eight minutes. And Susie says crumbled on top of a salad. Susie, you're a genius. You are like a genius. Okay, so let's check it out real quick. So that everybody who did not get to spring forward gets a chance to go to bed. So there's one perfect one, like it's perfectly curled. I'm gonna pick it up real quick, just cause it's so cute. And somebody who is saying, wrap asparagus with the bacon and season. Ooh, yeah. Well, that sounds good. That sounds good, Debbie. Like this one, this piece is perfectly rolled up. And if you let it sit for a few minutes, if you let it sit for a few minutes, then um, it gets kind of, I don't know, like the where the sugar where the sugar is on it, it's not crispy, but it kind of firms up. Oh my gosh, and it's so good, so good. And here's the other good thing about using, you know, one, another good thing about using the air fryer. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but most, a lot of the grease, so a lot of the bacon grease has gone down, you know, from the basket. It's gone down from the basket down into the bottom. So it's down in that bottom part now. And remember, because I seasoned my air fryer, it's just gonna be, as soon as we get done, I'm gonna pour the grease out and we are going to, um, it's just gonna clean right up. And Donna said, try those tomatoes with the grits. That would be really good. Oh, the ones without cheese. Mm, I only have the ones with cheese. So this was our end product. So who's happy that they stayed up? Who's happy that they stayed up for the fluff portion tonight? Okay, I'm gonna let y'all go. Don't forget your homework. So your homework is to find one thing that'll help you sleep better. Let me see, talking about sleeping better, let me see if I can get Sir Snooze a lot to come over here. Dusty, Dusty, come on. And he, of course, you know what he's thinking. He's going, there's bacon, there is bacon. So yeah, yum, 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 yum. Okay, here everybody. And I'm sure he's thinking he's gonna get some of this bacon. <sighs> okay, so everybody have an amazing week. Um, if you are a praying person, pray for my sleep study tomorrow night because I desperately need for it to go well so that I can get back on my medicine. Pretty, 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 please. But everybody have an awesome week. Um, I will attempt to get at least, at least the Hasselback recipe up um, while I'm at the sleep center because I can't do anything else while I'm there other than the sleeping maybe, I don't know, I'll try to get the hassle back one up and then I'll try to get these up as soon as I can. So thank you all for your patience and if you're watching this later on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. It's here, 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 or here. Yeah, don't forget. And you can find this later on ifyouhaveanegg.com. Good night, everybody, and hope to see you next Sunday. Good night. <laughs>